Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with some more Beam and G Drive. And in today's episode, I'm going to be testing out this off road map called Off Road Paradise. It's a pretty big map, just obviously dedicated for off roading. Uh, I checked it out a little bit. I didn't get too much in depth, so I don't know a lot about the map at all. So most of the trails I'll be driving on, it's just going to be a first hand experience. So let's get right into it. I don't know if I want to go that way or if I just want to dive right into an off-road track or what. I'm going to be using a crawler because when I did just look at the map for the first time earlier, I noticed that a lot of the trails seem to be crawler based, which yeah, it seems like that. <laughs> and obviously right off at the start is me just crashing and rolling over. Seems like a good start. I have a feeling I'm gonna be resetting myself a lot. We're gonna have to take it slow. How much PSI do I have in these tires? Let me check. Cause I could probably lower higher PSI a little bit, higher pressure, and we'll lower just a little bit, I mean that's probably pretty good where it was, but it's a little bouncy for my liking, we'll see how that is, okay, that seems a little better. My god, I'm getting stuck way too easy. You know, I was doing this track on a with a D series, just a regular base D series truck. And I actually did it way easier with that than I did it with this. And I thought, well, if this is gonna be crawler based. Want to make sense to use a crawler? I mean, when I was using the D series, I was scraping a lot, but I wasn't rolling over. Oh man. Am I not going to have like enough suspension to do all this? Like, is my travel just not going to be enough? You could obviously tell I don't have the skill for this. But overall, just looking at the map and how much detail is into the off-roading trails, it's really nice because you don't really get too much of that in the base maps of Beam and G Drive. Most of the off-roading trails and stuff in the regular maps of Beam and G Drive are just muddy trails or nothing too interesting. It's probably because a lot of the vehicles aren't made for doing crazy stuff like this and a lot of people don't have the patience for it or the skill which shows that I do not have the skill as you can see alright I guess we'll just keep following this trail over here where this one takes us. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not gonna go up that one. I had a hard enough time going up that one. That was on, like an amateur path for off-roaders and rock crawlers. Can't imagine what that one would be like. See, now this seems more my speed. Just a hill. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't expect it to just be a drop-off. 
Let me just reset myself. Okay, I'm reset. Let's just go up this hill and see how this is. So it looks like there's different areas that you could take up. Or take to go up this path here, so. Uh, I'm taking the baby route. Uh, you could go over here and take this more difficult route, which looks like it has mud, uh, gravel. It looks like that's gravel. Some type of stone or dirt. And then up here, it looks like there's some type of bump in the road before you get up to the top. Then over here is just a more bumpy hill with a very steep incline, which I might actually come back down and try both of these after I get up this one. Might up, uh, I might end up switching my rock crawler out for a different vehicle because I don't know if this is going to have enough torque to get up all these. Might end up switching over to D-Series version. Yeah, we'll try that. Since those ones have a lot of torque. Let's switch over to that real quick. Maybe I'll do a little bit better with this one. And if I can't beat this baby path, then I don't even deserve to try the other ones. Are you kidding me? Really? Come on. Alright, maybe if I get like a running start, maybe that will help. Let's try going from here. And then we'll run down. And then we'll try going up. Like this. Really, that's not enough? My god. Alright, let me try doing some customization to this. Let me just reset it first. Alright, I'll customize it and I'll be right back. Alright, so I changed some parts on it. I put a supercharger on it. And a performance block. Yeah, that's what I changed. So let's see if we can make it now. Definitely loses a little bit of grip going up the hill. And I got air. But I definitely made it that time. Now let's take a look at this one over here. Because this one, I think, is a little bit steeper. Oh god. Really? <laughs> All right, well, we'll try going up that one now that we added a little bit of performance parts to it. See if we can go up this one. Come on. My god. I do not deserve to even have an off-roading vehicle. This is just terrible. Let's try this again. Alright. What is this? I can't get any traction on this at all. Alright, I, I don't know what this is, but I can't get any traction on it. It's like, it seems like road material. So let's just go back up this one and we'll keep continuing on the trail. Actually, let's... We'll try this one because I said I would try this one. So this seems like mud. This definitely looks like gravel. This looks like mud. And... I'm sinking in the mud. Alright, well, we'll do the one that I know I can do. Yes, I'm not a good off-roader, I know. I'll stick to the baby trails. You know, if that ever happened in real life, like if I was in a truck 
and I went up the hill and I popped a little bit of wheelie like that, I think my heart would skip a beat. Because I would feel like I would tip backwards. Alright, yeah, see, this trail isn't bad. This is like a baby trail. This one's more my style. Not much going on. A little bit of inclines here and there. I could definitely handle that. Oh, come on, really? All right, let's try it again. There we go. No? Okay, maybe not. Back up. My god. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the Jeep. See if the Jeep makes a difference. I just don't know how the Jeep would be better because it doesn't look like it has much travel. Those other. Those are the D series ones. But hey, it made it. All right, you know, we're still going. We're not flipped over. We don't need to reset. Just need to take a nice and slow. That's why it's called a crawler. All right, now here you can probably speed up a little bit, but I won't go too fast. Because you never know what's ahead of you. And it looks pretty simple up here. Let's see, what do I want to do? Do I want to go down there? Or do I want to try and go up that hill? I probably won't be able to make it up this hill, to be honest. If I can, I'd be surprised. Yeah, kind of figured. Let me just let it roll. Let me just let it roll. Then you can do. We'll go down. This map is a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. Alright, see, here's a baby path. I need the beginner path. See, this is nice. This is like a nice relaxing drive. A little bit of bumps here and there. Nothing too crazy. Oh god. Spoke too soon. I was gonna hit that like a jump. Oh. I'm surprised I didn't break anything yet. Alright, let's see what else is there, other than just this trail. There's a little bit of a hill climb that I could probably do. Oh yeah, this one isn't bad. This one's nice and subtle. This is a very big map. There's a lot on this map. Didn't even go over this way yet. Oh wow, look at this river. Wonder how deep it is. Looks like it's probably pretty deep. I don't, yep, yep, yep. Oh god. Alright. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, I want to try and cross it, but I don't want to flood my vehicle. If I had a snorkel, I probably would be able to do it. Alright, these trails aren't too bad. 
What's over this way? Does this lead you to the river or something? I guess these are the baby trails that I was looking for. The trails that I was at were like the rock climbing trails. A rock crawler. Where's that river coming from? Just spewing out the mountain. I don't see it like coming from the top or anything. Yeah, just starts right there. No source. Just starts right there. Still pretty cool though. It's a nice river. Ah, here we go. This is a nice... Actually, never mind. It's not that nice. I don't even know how I'd get up that. Oh, uh, yep. Okay. Come on. Alright, I'm gonna have to reset it. Alright, I'm reset. And let's try and go down this area. See if we can manage this. We'll take it nice and slow. Come on. Focus. Pure focus. Don't go too fast. Just nice and slow. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, now I'm starting to feel like a professional. Oh my god, what is this mess? Ah, oh, it wasn't too bad. I thought it would have been too narrow. This is starting to look pretty narrow, though. Oh, God. Alright. I think I spoke too soon earlier about what side's the rock crawler side. What if I go up and around? Can I do that, please? Come on, just let me go up and around. Come on. Uh. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna flip it. That didn't work. That was a fail. Alright. Can I try the other side? No, whatever. We'll just try and actually do it the way you're supposed to do it. Let's try and go through it. Gotta go nice and slow, though. Never mind. I guess when you do that, you just fall over. Alright. We'll just go back up here and we'll go a different way. This doesn't look too bad. I didn't even notice this earlier when I was up here. But we'll do this. Make our way up to the top of the mountain. There we go. Making some good progress now. Oh wow, look at that view. There's like a whole other, whole other area over on that side that you could get to. This map is huge. How steep is this? Pretty steep. With rocks. Love it. My god. Alright, nice and slow. Take a nice and slow over the rocks. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Oh, look at this area. That's nice. That's down here. Oh, it's like a little hill climb area. You got like a rock crawler area where you could do a hill climb, and this is just like a muddy area. Let's see if I can do this one. 
Nope. Alright, well that was a failed attempt. Let's look at the nice view we got over here. See what this other side looks like. So it kind of just meshes into that area over there. Like I could go down here and go over if I wanted to. I don't know, this map's huge. I could do more of this map in another episode. But it would take forever to do it all in one episode. And obviously I'm not that good at off-roading, so... <laughs> I don't know how entertaining it would be. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. Like, I did a decent amount. Like I said, this map's pretty big. And if you want to see more, I could do more. I'm pretty sure it goes like all the way over here. And even maybe out there, I'm not quite sure. But I know it definitely goes over here. And this is uh, a lot of trails. A lot of trails that you could do. A lot of rock crawling you can do as well. So if you're interested in this map, I will leave this in the description below and you can download it for yourself and try it out. Especially if you're better at rock crawling than I am. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.